Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, my wonderful listeners and viewers all across the globe. Thank you so much for this particular privilege and for your support. I would like to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you. Members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, have vowed to storm Abuja, the nation's capital, for the trial of their leader, Mazi Namdekano, at the Federal High Court in Abuja on Monday. The group also told the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami San, to prepare more cells and mortuaries should he want to detain or kill its members as they prepare to flood the court to show solidarity with their leader. The group's spokesperson, Ima Powerful, disclosed this to Sahara reporters on Sunday while speaking about his expectations regarding Namdekano's trial, which is expected to commence on Monday. He, however, cautioned the members of IPOP and Namdekano supporters to behave appropriately and obey the law. You should expect be our friends in Abuja tomorrow. And nobody can stop us or prevent us from being in court tomorrow. Namdekano is our leader and we cannot afford to abandon him because he did not abandon us. IPOP members should move to Abuja and those living in Abuja must be there to show solidarity with our leader. Mazi Namdekano and for Nigeria to know that he is our own. Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, and his core conspirators should prepare to kill all of us tomorrow, and every IPOP member must behave well. This is to show the world that we are coming, and for this court to know that we are disciplined and cultured. Our leader, Mazi Nambikano, has laid the foundation of IPOP well and we must follow his teachings, Ima Powerful said. Namdekano, the leader of the most popular pro Biafra group, will continue his trial on Monday at the Federal High Court in Abuja after he fled Nigeria in 2017 after there were reports of an alleged attack on his life and his person. He is being prosecuted on allegations bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, illegal possession of arms, among others leveled against him by the Nigerian government. He has been in the detention of the Department of State Services, the DSS, since he was abducted in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria. After his brief appearance before Justice Binta Nyaku on June the 30th. According to Ima Powerful, the Nigerian government is inflicting pain on IPOP members through its actions. He, however, vowed that the group will not keep quiet until the world hears and comes to its aid. We will be there tomorrow. Let Malami clean his prisons and mortuary for our people tomorrow. The world will see them tomorrow. You cannot beat a child and force the child not to cry. That is what they are trying to do to us and we must cry until the world hears us. Namdekano remains our leader. No other person, Emma Powerful, concluded. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? You know, this is a very, very serious issue as it is, as we speak. You know, the whole issue is becoming um, a little bit uh, uncomfortable or messy. I don't know which is the right word at the moment. But be that as it were, you know, if IPOP members are saying that, uh, you know, the, the government should prepare prisons and build more mortuaries, 
then you know that um, there is a tendency that things will probably you know um, uh, escalate or get out of hand or you know um, turn mercy but that is not what would uh, what that is not what we should be anticipating that is not what we should be expecting because it probably would not um, spell um, good for Namdekanu's uh, trial because at the end of the day if there's any messy situation as it were you would expect that the either the government itself or the court that is the judge could give you know an injunction as it were to bar supporters or what have you from attending Namdekanu's trial in court but we hope that this situation is well managed and um, there is no alteration and there is no reason for you know any form of um, death or unwarranted incident that will deter or that will negatively impact you know the position of Namdekanu in the court in his hearing and uh, in the trial well we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold the statement by Ma Powerful is a daring one to the government of the Federation because um, they want to show support for their leader. Don't forget that protests have been going on across um, you know, the world, in some countries across the world, like in the United Kingdom, in Israel, we've uh, actually seen and heard of uh, you know, protests for Namikano to be freed you know, across some other parts of the country in Nigeria, as it were. And uh, across some other, you know, countries across the world, it is what it is. It is normal for you know these people to come out to support their leader, to demand that their leader be accorded the needed um, freedom that he is actually being denied. But this is the government of Nigeria that is at the bottom of this matter. We wait and uh, anticipate to see how things eventually turns out and what will happen at the end of the day. The question now is, will the Nigerian government incite these IPOP members into violence? There are possibilities that this could happen. You know, we've had incidences like this or we've seen or heard, you know, incidences like this where it is actually the security forces or operatives that are actually inciting, you know, the people into violence so that they can actually get them arrested and uh, put the blame on them and make the world see that or believe that these guys were actually um, uh, uh, uncounted in their attitudes and their behaviors and all what have you. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things turns out eventually at the end of the day. Please guys, what are your thoughts? Kindly drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.